um, Ukrainians and English people kind of do Christmas differently? What do you think? Oh yeah, let's talk about all similarities and differences between Christmas which we have in Ukraine and here in United Kingdom. Okay, let's go. Okay, so St. Nicholas Day, talk to me about that because I've never heard of it. Oh yeah, it's a very interesting uh, um, traditional event in Ukrainian uh, winter festivities begin with celebration of St. Nicholas Day. And this day is celebrated on 19th of December. Uh, St. Nicholas is considered to be a protector of all poor and vulnerable, uh, ill-treated people and also those who travel. Every year he is very eagerly waited as he brings presents to children and obviously to well-behaved children. And he uh, put the, his uh, presents under the children's pillow. So every morning, on the 19th of December, children wake up in Ukraine and oh, look, have a look of what, what presents did they deserve this year mm. and that present they found under their pillow. Ah, so it's, it sounds similar to the um, English tradition of St. Nicholas who brings um, children presents at Christmas. OK, that's cool. Thank you. That's interesting. OK, when's Christmas in Ukraine then? Ah, yes, this is a very good question because uh, for many years, Orthodox and Greek Catholic churches in Ukraine follow the old Julian calendar and celebrate their Christmas on the 7th of January. The rest churches after the reform moved onto Gregorian calendar and changed the date to 25th of December. However, still most of Ukrainian traditionally uh, celebrate their Christmas at night from 7th of January, oh, sorry, from 6th of January to 7th of January. Okay, because we obviously follow the Gregorian calendar. Is it right that the Ukrainians are thinking of kind of moving towards the Gregorian calendar now? Yes, yes. Recently, like uh, several years ago, uh, they started to uh, tell people about the possibility to start celebrate Christmas uh, Day Christmas on 25th. However, still, as it was traditionally and for, for many, many years, the uh, official Christmas Day was uh, on the 7th of January. So most people just continue to follow that. Oh, OK. Fab. Okay. Okay. Now I don't like this word fasting. That means we're going to be hungry. So what does this one mean? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Christmas in Ukraine, it's a very religious day, a very religious holiday. And it's all about religion for Ukrainians. That's why Ukrainians uh, decorate the Christmas tree for New Year and not for the Christmas, but before Christmas they have fast. Uh, so many years, uh, many people in Ukraine observe 40 days of fast before Christmas. During the Christmas fast, people can eat vegetables and fruits, mushrooms, porridges, or most days they are also allowed to eat fish. However, people cannot eat meat, eggs, cheese, dairy products, and butter during these 40 days before Christmas. Wow, so here in the UK we kind of use Christmas as an excuse to eat lots of mince pies and cheese, and you guys fast. Wow, that's amazing. Thank you. <laughs> okay, let's talk about Christmas decorations. So Christmas is my personal favourite time of the year, and I absolutely love putting up decorations. However, I'm one of these people that kind of put decorations up on the 1st of December. My parents absolutely despise it. They say that you're supposed to put up your decorations on the, um, supposed to take de down your decorations before the end of the 12th day of Christmas, which is the 5th of January. But they also have a rule that you're not allowed to put them up before a certain time before Christmas either. So the fact that I put my decorations up on the 1st of December is very dis disappointing. <laughs> What about you guys? What do you do to um, celebrate Christmas in terms of Christmas decorations? 
Uh, also, in Ukraine, we don't have a specific date when people need to decorate the Christmas tree, but it always done before New Year. As I already mentioned, uh, mostly people decorate the Christmas tree for New Year. <laughs> New Year is is one of the favorite uh, holiday for Ukrainians because Ukrainian believes is the way you meet New Year is the way you spend the whole year so obviously everyone try to be the best uh, version of themselves and obviously everyone try to decorate their christmas tree the best possible way and they decorate their houses also and um, uh, so as i said there is actually no specific date but uh, most people try to do it like in my family it's like one week or two weeks sometimes before the new year okay but do you have like a christmas tree that kind of thing um yes probably <laughs> we have but yeah it's it depends on the from family to family okay so we have a tradition here and um it, it varies from family to family but in my house i've got three children and they always argue each year as to who put the angel on the tree last year <laughs> so um the children get lifted up to the top of the tree to put the angel on but that's just a thing here so that's it's really different how our traditions are quite different isn't it Oh, yeah, they, for me, they have a lot of similarities, but obviously it has many, many differences. differences like yeah. we don't have advent calendar in Ukraine. It's not traditional for us. Oh, wow. So <laughs> today, to, this year is my actually first day, uh, first year when I have a, an advent calendar and I try it and I really, really oh, like it. Oh, that's amazing. Right, let's see what we've got next. Okay. Christmas cards. Do you, um, Ukrainians do Christmas cards? Oh, yes. This is, okay. I believe it's everywhere in the world. We like Christmas cards. Okay, fabulous. Um, obviously, it's a British Christmas tradition of sending cards. Um, so Henry Cole um, didn't have time to send personal messages. So he hired an artist called John Calcott Horsley to design him a card, which he could send to lots of people. I've got to say, most recently, I think a lot of people have kind of stepped back from sending Christmas cards. I think it's probably phasing its way out. But um, Christmas cards are definitely still a thing. OK. OK, Christmas markets. So this slide says that Manchester ho hosts one of the largest Christmas markets. But I guess if you're watching this from a Warwickshire point of view, the largest Christmas market from here is in Birmingham. Have you been to that one yet, Julia? Not yet. I really want. <laughs> Hopefully oh, I will go. It's <laughs> absolutely beautiful. It's really pretty, really busy, but very pretty. And at this time of the year, it it just makes Birmingham look absolutely sensational. Oh, I can't you, believe this. Uh, do yeah, you have has, Christmas markets at home? Yes, yes. We have Christmas markets in Ukraine, in Kyiv. We have probably maybe the biggest one and it starts to function like also a week or two before the uh, New Year. Okay. <laughs> Ukrainian New Year. It has a lot of things for kids like so many entertainments and obviously all kind of like uh, Santa Claus and oh. all <laughs> fairy uh, uh, person all of all of them are there and uh, this is uh, I like myself Christmas markets I believe that uh, what I've seen before like they have something in common in every country and what they obviously give to everyone is the uh, beautiful Christmas spirit and vibes. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Lovely. Right. So the Christmas tree. We've had this conversation a bit earlier about the Christmas tree um, and obviously the fact that you guys have Christmas trees and we do. And some people over here put stars on the top of their tree. Some people put um fair angels and fairies do you guys have something that you put on top of your christmas trees 
Yes, it, it can be all kind of um, decorations. Actually, there is no not something that it should be a star or it should be something else, an angel. It's just uh, on the taste of everyone. Uh, OK, perfect. And you do the whole baubles and lights thing or do you do tinsel mm -hmm. or paper chains or? Yeah, yeah. I, I think that Ukrainians try to decorate their Christmas trees the way like people do it in Germany, in United Kingdom, in the United States. So it's very, very much like. Ah, oh, lovely. Right, let's see what we've got next. O only one thing which is now remember is that uh, uh, Ukrainians also put uh, chocolates on their Christmas tree. Ah, oh, yes. Sometimes for kids can go and not just look at the beautiful Christmas tree, but also have some treats for them. I have a nice chocolatey treat. <laughs> Thank you. Right. Talking about food, turkeys. So although turkeys aren't native to the British Isles, um, people in the UK love to eat turkey. I'm not sure love to eat turkey is the correct word. I think um we feel kind of obliged to have turkey on christmas dinner because it would be kind of wrong to have anything else um and in my family we kind of have turkey on christmas day and that's it but i know other families have turkey on christmas day then they have turkey sandwiches the following day and then they have turkey soup the following day after that oh, so wow. i think people, people are pretty turkeyed out what do you guys do for um <laughs> so many <Christmas>? turkey <laughs> <laughs> yeah in Ukraine, yeah. uh, traditional uh, Christmas uh, meal is kutya. It's called kutya. It's a uh, boiled wheat with poppies, with raisins, and with honey. It's uh, usually served only once a year, as you can see here also on the picture, uh, that probably is kutya with a spoon on it. Um, Yes, it's served only for Christmas, and this is a traditional uh, Christmas Eve food. Okay, and you just have that uh, on Christmas Day? Uh, it is. It should be obviously on a table uh, with the people who celebrated Christmas. Obviously, there are different other fo uh, kind of food, but that food is, it can be uh, like uh, something which people like, but kutya is definitely should be there. It's okay. like a main, a main uh, meal on Christmas. And do you have that any other time of the year or just at Christmas? No, just for Christmas. Oh, OK, cool. Thank you. OK, Christmas Eve. So we obviously celebrate Christmas Eve on the 24th of December. Um, children kind of put a glass of milk out for Father Christmas with a cookie and some carrots with a reindeer. Um, and some people attend midnight mass to welcome in Christmas. What about um, the Ukrainians? Uh, Ukrainians Christmas Eve, it called Svata Vecheria, which is translated into English like holy dinner, uh, is celebrated at no, like in the from the evening on 6th of January and on two uh, 7th of January. On Christmas Eve, all families, members are gathered around the table with 12 fasting meals on the table, and one the most important is kutya. There are two versions of uh, the interpretation of this number, like 12 dishes should be on the table. So one of the versions is saying that the num 12 is the number of apostles, and the other one is uh, stating that 12 is the number of months of the year. And obviously, kutya is the main dish of the evening. And as we already mentioned, it's cooked from boiled wheat, honey, poppy, seeds, walnuts and raisins. Mm, lovely. <laughs> OK, so obviously we lost our queen. However, um, the Queen's Christmas message was always one of the most watched programs on TV on Christmas Day, um, where she kind of addressed the nation and talks about the year um, that's that's just gone past. Um, we'll obviously have the King's speech this year. Do, do Ukrainians have an equivalent of this? 
Uh, we have a president speech. President uh, speech, we always traditionally, historically listen his uh, congratulations on um, New Year Eve. So before, uh, on the 31st of uh, December, the president uh, tell like like a queen also talking about what we've got in the uh, year which is finishing and uh, provide and saying like a good <laughs> vision good um, wishes to uh, for the for the new year uh, but on Christmas uh, we also, I believe, from time to time, we also have this uh, president speech who also uh, congratulate us Ukrainians with Christmas and say us good wishes. Oh, lovely. OK, so Christmas carols. In Ukraine. Yeah, um, this is all Ukrainians like to sing. So since the evening of January, the six people wear bright traditional clothes, take some attributes of Christmas like rising star. It's a big star on the top of a stick and start singing carols. Boys and girls, women and men are going to visit the house of their neighbors and friends. Uh, also, the relatives entertaining, entertaining them with singing carols and sometimes with short theater scenes of how the Jesus Christ was born. It is tradition to give sweet gifts and coins and uh, money to those who perform carols in Ukraine. And it is it's also believed that the more carolers come to your house the more prosperity and wealth uh, there will be in the family over the next year ah, uh, it's interesting over uh, like over here we don't tend to get that many carolers on the doorstep however we do things like lantern parades and there are lots and lots of christmas carol concerts about so it's very interesting um, the differences between the two. Fab. Yes. OK, Boxing Day. So Boxing Day for us is the 26th of December and it's the day after Christmas, obviously. It's generally thought that the day was created for people to box up their unwanted gifts and give them to the poor. Do you have something like this in Ukraine? No at all. Not <laughs> as all. far as I know, we don't have Boxing Day. It's also a uh, uh, British tradition, probably, which I learned when I moved to United Kingdom. Before that, I didn't know about <laughs> Boxing okay. Day. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What about mistletoe? Do you guys have mistletoe in Ukraine? I believe that it was also kind of a tradition in Ukraine, but it it's not. Um, it's not uh, present it now, okay. but I believe for my grandma was something like this. And this is very interesting because I know what it means here in UK and they really <laughs> like this. <laughs> so apparently as part of the early custom, men were allowed to steal a kiss from any woman caught standing underneath the mistletoe and refusing that man's kiss was bad luck. How interesting. You what think? about... What about pantomimes? Did you have pantomimes in Ukraine? Uh, we don't have actually like pantomimes, but we have uh, uh, this Christmas scene played in theatres and uh, it's mostly, mostly generally for kids. OK, yeah, the pantomimes over here um, children can go to and it's very kind of slapstick sometimes. Um, and it's kind of adult humour that only adults would understand. So if children are there, it wouldn't necessarily be an issue. But if you haven't been to one, you definitely need to go to one. OK, I will try. To... <laughs> and New Year, so your Christmas. Yeah, it's it's our New Year. <laughs> we still have Christmas, but New Year Eve is one of the most favourite and important events for all of Ukrainians. 
on the new year, the schools, universities, uh, companies and organizations are closed. Even shops are closed on the 1st of January, on the next day of the uh, new year. Uh, they are closed at least for several days even. And so some uh, people can just relax and celebrate the new year and several days after that. There are a lot of TV shows, movies and concerts around the country dedicated to the celebration of the new year. We have many really uh, TV programs and TV shows, uh, especially every, like it's like annual uh, show which is uh, presented only uh, on the for, for the new year so <laughs> every new year we have this tv show with new songs and content ukrainians believe that the way you meet the new year is the way you spend it and everyone try to be uh, best and give best presents and be with the families and best friends on the new year um people just um, love this new year day very much and everyone try to entertain themselves as much as possible so would you say that new year's eve is more important than christmas day to ukrainians i would not say that it is more important it's just very different because uh as i see that new year it just uh, the yeah, it's a start of new year. It's a start of everything new in people's lives. So everyone have best, um, what is this, expectation in the new like year. A they do, like a fresh start almost. Yes, they yeah. do wishes, they uh, dream. And uh, and this is all about, they have parties and uh, see people. And this is all about New Year. But Christmas for Ukrainian, it's more religious day. Okay. It's more religious um, mm, holidays. So it doesn't involve parties or loud, um, I don't know, some loud entertainments. It's all you just uh, sit around the table nicely, actually about talking about the presence so traditionally presents are kids and people uh give to each other on new year day not on right, christmas okay. yeah it's, so on okay. christmas usually nobody receive presents okay perfect right let's see what we've got next divination and dreams yeah, this is also traditional. It has very deep roots. Uh, some Ukrainians, uh, most of them, I would say, believe in the great power of the Christmas day, as well as divination on the Christmas Eve. And yes, it's all have roots into the uh, religious content, probably, of this day. Uh, so people believe that they can... Uh, see the future and also single girls in ukraine usually divining their fate at night of the christmas to find out of if they will get married and uh, and this year and what would be the name of their future husband and for divination they usually use um, candles and mirrors Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> Is it? Do you have something like this in UK? No, nothing like that. Absolutely nothing. That's amazing. 